Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Badr Dean and in this video we'll learn how to cache the bitmaps stored in an SD card. In this first part we'll see how to set up the SDMMC peripheral and add FATFS file system to the STM32F746.gfx template. I will start by TouchGFX Designer, which is a GUI builder that lets you easily build the visual appearance of your graphics application. Here I have to uh, select application name and use STM32F746 SD cache bitmaps. On the application template, I'll click change and select STM32F746 discovery kit template. Here we see we have two different versions one that does support STM32 Cube MX project and one that does not. I'll select the one that, that supports STM32 Cube MX to easily add SD MMC configuration. I click select and then in the UI template I click change and I will select any application template from here for example, today I will use the animation texture mapper and then click select. Then I'll click create and now TouchGFX will download the template from the server. Now I have the application template available on my desk. I'll click generate code and then click on browse to the uh, TouchGFX files. Click here. And then here I have my TouchGFX files. I go up by one level here and I find my STM32CubeMX file, this IUC file. I'll double click on it. Here I have my STM32CubeMX open. Now we need to enable the peripheral that's connected to the SD card. If we look at the user manual of the STM32F746 discovery board, we see that SD or micro SD connector is connected as the MMC1 peripheral. And if we look at the, uh, the schematic, we see that the four bit or four pins are connected to the SD card. So if I go back to the STM32 CubeMX, I go connectivity, select SD MMC1, and then select SD four bits wide bus. Then we'll enable the uh, SD MMC1 global interrupt and then we go to DMA settings and we enable the DMA channels for TX and RX and this is this helps to offload the CPU okay then if I go back to the schematic of the STM32 F746 we see here that the uh, micro SD uses uh, a GPIO for detect signal. And this pin, pin has to be set up as input with pull up. So this micro SD detect pin is connected to PC13, as we see, as we can see here. So micro SD detect is connected to PC13. I go back to STM32 CubeMX project And we select PC13 and we set it up to GPIO input. We still need to enable the pull up, the internal pull up for PC13. We go to system core, GPIO, we go to PC13, and here in GPIO pull up, pull down configuration, we select pull up. Okay. Now we are done with SDMMC configuration. We go to clock configuration tab and we see here that the clock is above the what the spec says. If I check the data sheet of the STM32 F746, we see here that the fre clock frequency for the SDMMC peripheral has to be lower than 50 megahertz. So we see here that the SDMMC clock is 200. So I'll select the PLL48 PLL clock 
and then here I'll divide this clock by 8. And here we have the SDMMC clock set up to 50 MHz. Next, we, we want to use a file system to, uh, to allow us to, to do file operations such as open a file, read a file, or write a file. So we'll go to middleware and FATFS. So here we'll use FATFS on SD card. And then for the detect signal, we use PC13. And now I'll save my STM32 CubeMX project and click on generate code. So the code is successfully generated. I'll click open project. Thank you for joining me in this video and we hope that you enjoyed learning how to set up the SDMMC peripheral and add FATFS file system to the STM32F746.gfx template. In the second part of this video, we'll see how to set up the bitmap cache and how to cache the bitmaps stored in an SD card.